Okay, so we're going to start getting into right triangle trig applications. And generally what's going to happen is you're always going to be given a triangle with some information in it. And typically it's, you know, you have a degree and a side and it says, what's that other side? Like in this case, look, we have a degree right here, we have a side, and I want to know what E is. Okay, so that's typically how these look. The triangles will rotate all over the place. You'll have to use different trig functions from time to time based on what you're given. So let's get started with this one and we'll see how it works. I want to remind you at this point to make sure your calculator is set in degrees. And the reason I say degrees is because that is what the problem is in. Okay, the problem is in degrees. Therefore, you should make sure your calculator is in degrees. Otherwise, it's just going to give you nonsense stuff and you'll be marked wrong and you won't be able to figure out why. So this says the triangle shown below, use your calculator, blah, blah, blah. We're looking for E. Okay, I want to know what E is. And to do this, you have to figure out what trig function is going to be appropriate. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to say, okay, listen, what's important? I've got my angle, and across from that angle is 7.23. That's the opposite. And then I've got the hypotenuse over here. That's what I want. I don't care about the adjacent side, that vertical side. I don't need it. So which trig function talks about opposite and hypotenuse? And I hope you're thinking of sine of theta. Okay, sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. So I want you to make an equation similar to what I just wrote down here. Sine of theta, for us, that's going to be sine of 39 degrees equals, well, opposite is 7.23 divided by E. Look at that. I've got one equation, one variable. I know I can solve this. So I just need to juggle some things around. I'm going to multiply each side by E. That gives me E times sine of 39 equals 7.23. And then I juggle some more around. I divide each side by sine of 39. Okay, just to be really clear about what's going on here. While you're starting out with these problems, it's good to see the steps. Divide by sine of 39 on each one of these. That crosses out. Um, so what do I get? I get E equals 7.23 divided by sine of 39 degrees. And if your calculator is in the degree setting, you don't need to put the little, you know, circle dot thing for degrees. It knows what you're talking about. So now you type it in. You use the sine button. Okay, I'm drawing that right here. You say 7.23 divided by sine. It's going to give you a parenthesis. Make sure you put 39 degrees in and close that parenthesis. This is what I'm talking about, that closed parenthesis sign right there. A lot of mistakes happen because students forget to close their parentheses. And then it spits out this answer, 11.488, blah, blah, blah. So what that is, that's E right there. Okay, so we just type that into our answer. Let's see, this guy wants two decimal places. So I might say 11.49. Okay, I would round it up. Um, if you put something like 11.50, it, it might take it. It might not. That's getting a little iffy. If you rounded it to 11.0, that's way off, right? It's going to be marked wrong. So try to get your decimals right. And I would say when it comes to rounding, always do the rounding at the very, very end of the problem. Here's what I mean by that. Do not do this. Don't type into your calculator sine of 39 degrees. Uh, let's see what that is. Sine of 39. Okay, so my calculator says the sine of 39 is 0.629. So don't go solving your problem this way. 7.23 divided by uh, 0 0.63. That's not it. See, I rounded right there. I'm going to make a mistake. The errors that you make in the beginning of a problem tend to get larger and larger by the end of the problem. So save all your rounding until the end. Okay, so that was an example of how to use sine. Let's just do another one. This should be quicker. This time I'm looking for D, and I'm given the hypotenuse and an angle. So what is this? Up here, we've got the adjacent. Down here, I've got the hypotenuse. Which trig function relates adjacent and hypotenuse? Well, that is cosine. So I'm going to write that out here. And now I put in what I know. Theta is 53 degrees. And adjacent is D. And hypotenuse is 15.94. So this one's easier than the last one, actually. I'm just going to multiply each side by 15.94. I get 15.94 cosine of 53 degrees equals 
D. I type that into my calculator here. So 15.94 cosine 53. And I get this. D equals 9.5929 blah, blah, blah. If you enter all the decimals, great. But you need to at least have two decimals of precision or accuracy here. So I could just enter 9.59 and I'm done.